Hey guys, it's Mike with the guns. I've got North American Arms mini revolvers here today. And these are officially the smallest guns that you can get in production currently. So I've shown this one before, I know in a video. But somebody mentioned a while back that I should do a, a video showing a comparison between these two, the 22 short and the 22 LR. So that's what we're doing today. So like I said before, these are the smallest guns that you can get. Um, some of you guys are probably thinking, no, I've seen smaller things out there like the Col Colibri. That Colibri, I've seen that thing, although it is technically smaller, I mean, it's definitely smaller. If you look up the Calibri, it's definitely smaller. And it does exist. It is a thing. But it's not something that you can go and buy. So out of the guns that are currently in production, if you're like me, you wake up like 3 o'clock in the morning one day, like, what's the smallest gun that I could buy? Boom. This is it right here. North American Arms Mini Revolver in 22 short. And this one is the same thing in 22 LR. So I picked these up a while back, kind of just as collector's pieces because they're, they're so tiny. I mean, you might want to carry one, but I'll talk about that in a second for why I don't. Um, but when I was in the shop, this was the first one that I saw. They weren't able to get the 22 short at that time, so I got the 22 LR, which was pretty cool because they make a lot of accessories for the 22 LR that they don't make for the 22 short. Uh, one of those accessories is this belt buckle right here, which is a nice little novelty, uh, which is why I wanted to show that. So it, it's good to have them both in, in the collection. So you can have the one that goes with the accessories, and you can also have the one that officially is the smallest gun that is made. So what do I want to talk about first? Let's talk about a couple of these accessories that I have. I, I want to bring a couple of the accessories that I have off camera, on camera first, to tell you just show you what they are real quick um, and why I might not think you should get it. Uh, when I was ordering a couple of things, when I first bought this gun, I was ordering the belt buckle and a few accessories for it. So I added this mag dispenser or this ammo dispenser, uh, not a mag dispenser. It's not a mag or anything. It's just a little ammo dispenser. They call it the Catch-22. Um, it's got the North American Arms logo on it. This is something I'm never going to use. I don't know why I ordered this, so I don't see anybody having a need for this if you're going to use it for this revolver it's not like you're going to pull this ammo dispenser out and load the five rounds in this at, at or any time honestly so i don't think that's something you guys would need it's certainly not anything that i needed um another thing i saw was this belt buckle that they make also by north american arms it's got the little um little logo right there on it but this is a little belt buckle now just a little side note you might wonder why i wanted the belt buckles but a little side note is i had a store many years ago uh in miami beach it was a little store but i sold a lot of random things t-shirts and uh lots of things but belts and belt buckles was one of the themes that i had in the store so when i saw that they had a belt buckle i i I thought it was cool. I kind of planned on wearing it every once in a while. So I saw this belt buckle that they had also. I went ahead and ordered that too. This one is more discreet, obviously. This one is more of a novelty. But this one, I haven't been able to figure out how to get the gun in the thing, honestly. So it's supposed to go like this somehow. Someone that has it, I mean, let, let me know. Now, you try to line it up. And you see, you got the blockage up there. So I just pulled this tab down here. I can get the front in. But that back, I'm trying to look on the camera at the same time. That back right there will not go in. Um, so I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or whatever, but it's not working for the 22 LR version for this buckle. So then I got the 22 short out, and the 22 short one will fit in this buckle, but not really securely. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
with this thing because that's clearly not how it's supposed to go because it could fall right out. So having said that, until someone shows me how to use this buckle properly, I would skip this one. I wouldn't want this buckle. But I have it now, so it's in my bin. Now, this is the only one I would I would say to get to add to the collection kind of as a novelty. But I'm going to be honest, I was disappointed in the way that this buckle functions, and it's not really anybody's fault. It's just See, it's just the way it is. I mean, this, you don't see novelty stuff like this too often because it's not supposed to be 100% functional. It's, it's a novelty. It is what it is. But they've got a little magnet in here. I put the gun in it one time. I'm going to do it again now um, for the second time. The reason I never did it is because I was kind of pissed off when I, when I did it because that magnet is stronger than I expected, and it stuck my gun quick. Um... And I had a hard time getting it out to the point where the handle went into this area here and I couldn't get it out. I was messing with it for a few minutes. I scratched up the gun a little bit. This was a while back. This is probably like a year ago. Finally had to get a screwdriver out and take the, the little grip um, add-ons. I had to take those off to actually slide the gun out of this belt buckle um but let's go ahead and get it on because this does fit perfectly for the 22 lr i don't even know if it fits for the 22 short i mean it probably would it's going to have extra space but i'm not going to put the 22 short in there because i haven't scratched that one up yet and i don't plan to because that's my smallest gun that they make this one's already scratched up so you can see how it goes in so this little notch here you're supposed to pull it up a little bit then it moves down. See that hole that it sticks in? That notch, it clicks in place there. But uh, I need to put the hammer in first. See, the magnet is already sucking the hammer right there. So you've got to slide this in up there. This buckle is not really very functional in my opinion. Um, it goes in there, it looks cool. It, it's, I mean, you could put it in there, get it in there and you can wear it. It is a fully fun functional belt buckle. But here's the issue. If you're actually wearing this thing, even if you get it down to where you can, you know, move that quickly, get it out of the way, do whatever you gotta do. How do you get this thing out? You've gotta reach in the back of it and push it with your thumb to get it out. And that's where I messed up when I was first messing with the thing. It, the magnet was pulling against me. It was the first time I was ever doing it. This is only the second time I've ever doing it, but now I know what to expect. Um, and the gun twisted around and it got stuck in there and scratched up. But if you've got to do it like this, you're not going to ever be able to pull this thing out in a self-defense situation. So it really is just a novelty. Um, make up your mind whether you want that or not based on... The fact that you're not really going to be able to use it the way that I wanted to use it. It's pretty cool, though. So, I probably would have just got just the guns. One more accessory that I got was this inside the waistband holster. They make them right-handed or left-handed from North American Arms. Um, you could fit either or, the 22 short or, or the 22 LR. But I put the 22 LR in here so it can kind of get the, the shape of it formed but honestly this gun although it's so small i'm gonna pull out my carry gun right now this is my ruger lcp that i carry um you could see how much smaller this north american arms even the 22 lr but the 22 short is even smaller than that so you could see how much smaller it is th than the ruger lcp but even this tiny 22 short, it prints is what I'm getting around to. And talking about this little holster here, even though it's so tiny, there's no benefit to, to carrying this. It, it prints more than, than this LCP does in some ways because the LCP kind of spreads the print around a little bit more um, so, so it doesn't look 
like a little gun. It looks, like, especially with the laser, it kind of looks like a, a wallet or, or anything. It could, who knows, it could be anything. But if you actually look at the handle here, the North American Arms, the, the revolver is thicker than my 380. So there's, for concealment purposes, there's no really no reason to have this. Um, if you are going to carry one of these things, as weird as it sounds, the, I'd probably just put it in my pocket. Um, which, that brings the next issue with these things. To put it in my pocket, this is a sketchy gun to put in my pocket. Like, there's, you pretty much have to figure there's always one in the chamber. So, which is why I won't carry this thing. It's cool as a novelty, but let's go ahead and take this thing out. So you take that out. Give me a second here. Get the cylinder out. You load it here, obviously. Get it back in. I don't really want to scratch it up, so I was being careful with it. So after you get it loaded, I'm trying to get a little bit more familiar with these things. But another thing I want to mention as I'm going to, uh, one of my previous videos, I was dry firing this thing a lot because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I still don't know much of what I'm doing with this thing, but I know not to dry fire it. You are not supposed to dry fire a revolver, a... Uh, uh, any rimfire gun, you're not supposed to dry fire. Um, the reason being, now I know, is because the hammer, it's not a center fire pistol. The, there's no firing pin where it just strikes into air, into nothing. So it, it's not harmless in this case if you dry fire. You are potentially causing harm. You, will, you definitely are causing harm eventually if you continue to do it with a gun like this. So when you pull the hammer back, if you pull the trigger, the hammer is making direct contact with the gun or possibly the cylinder. Um, but either way, you're making direct contact steel to steel. And if you do that repeatedly, you will chip it, you will damage it. So if you're going to dry fire a revolver, uh, something in 22 LR, something, something rim fire, you need to have snap caps in it. So that was stupid that I was dry firing it on that video and I will not be doing that again. But on that note, if you're loading this thing, so you don't have the hammer resting on a round, they have these little half tabs in between each thing. You see these little notches? So you've got to, you've got to like be really careful. I'm trying to give you guys the view at the same time, but I can't really see the camera. It's, it's higher up than I would like. Um, but you've got to be really careful and to get it to that half tab to where you're safe with it. And to do that with live rounds in it, I'm not ready for all that. You know, I, I don't know. So I don't carry this gun. I'm happy that I have them as part of the collection, but they'll probably never get used. I just wanted to show them today, though. A little comparison, like somebody mentioned, I should compare them side to side. That's how small these things are. They really are tiny little guns. I mean, look how they fit in my hand. And again, look at this next to a Ruger LCP. I mean, amazing. Amazing how small it is. I was amazed when I got it. It's just something really cool. Now, one accessory I will probably eventually get and I would suggest you look at um, if you do want one of these things. One of the accessories I thought that they had that was pretty cool are like um, ivory colored handles and different colored handles and stuff. And I thought that was really classy to possibly have like an ivory colored handle on here. Um, maybe get it gold plated one day, but I'm getting ahead of myself now. That's gonna be a way in the future if I do anything like that. But it is something that they have uh, that you could get. And thanks for watching my video.
Go ahead and like my video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my guns. And I will see you guys soon.